Today's video was brought to you by Mastrop. If you're unfamiliar with Mastrop, they're a commerce site driven by their community members. This means that they develop and design their products with input from their community. Products like this, the PC37X limited edition headset, which features velvet bedded earphones for extreme comfort and an inch of padding, volume control dial on the headset, as well as a microphone that automatically mutes itself when in the up position, and a braided cable for durability that can be switched out at any time. I found these to be perfect for gaming and high quality editing as well, so make sure you check out Mastrop down below in the description. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 for some more Anzac missions. We've got Anzac positions here in Crete in 1941 as a German paradrop invasion is about to occur. Anzac forces, of course, from Australia and New Zealand are holding positions here in the high hills and will be trying to lock down this road to cut off German reinforcements and forces from pushing through. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button if you'd like to see more on the channel. Uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2 and check out this mod down below in the description. Your help is greatly appreciated, so let's push it up. The Germans should be here very soon, so we're going to lock down in these positions here where we see uh, Anzac forces uh, in, it looks like, three defensive positions, two on either side of the road, and it looks like there's one well off in the distance over here uh, by uh, another area which the Germans might pass through in the valley. German paratroopers are on their way here and should be arriving shortly but not before we see some of their aircraft pass by as well as they're getting an escort into the area. All right, this mod, by the way, is very cool in terms of realism, I must say. Here comes the German uh, aircraft right now. There they go. Looks like uh, three fighters making their way across the island. This is really well done, by the way, from these mod makers to put in these uh, initial uh, aircraft and such flying over. Very cool. Uh, we're going to be trying to defend a position here before the Germans get to a bridge of a dried-up river uh, position here which looks to be easy for them to cross which is why it's important for us to guard the road because there's no choke points on the other side of the city so it shouldn't be long now until the Germans arrive. Anzac forces of course uh, with a lot of different varying equipment from uh, Vickers or rather Lewis gun and of course uh, section commandos with Thompson's, the Enfield rifles etc etc so they should have a lot of good equipment. Here come the German paratroopers now Jukers are making their way through to drop paratroopers all around here. Wow, wow that's quite a bit of paratroopers, actually, uh, that can come out of these aircraft. Wow, very nicely done from these mod makers. All right, Anzac forces are already lighting them up. All right, Anzac are uh, firing on them as they're approaching the ground. Lewis gun there lighting them up as well. Looks like the Germans then are going to be tasked with taking that roadway. They're probably trying to secure either side of it. And... It seems that a lot of paratroopers have already hit the ground with reinforcements coming out now. Folsom Jaeger is spotted here as they've uh, landed all around us. And it looks like a squad making their way up the road too. Oh boy. This is going to be an intense fight. As there's going to be a huge number of Germans out here now. We have defensive positions. And they have superior numbers. So we're going to see who's about to win that. Uh, looks like we've got an ambush position over here with a Bren gun. And a Thompson, we better get over this direction. Anzac mod, of course, adds a lot of uh, realism in terms of uh, sectional uh, combat, indicating uh, w you know what squad, what section they're in. When you order reinforcements, you have limited numbers, and they'll tell you how many you have and what their veteran type is like. It's very interesting. All right, a lot of Germans pinned down there on the road, and it doesn't look like we've taken much of any losses yet. The Germans not expecting our positions here in Crete to be so consolidated. If we see German armor, it's going to be a tough time for us. However, it's probably going to be just as tough for them to get up to our positions. And that forces are still firing on the Germans. And lots of supply up here as well. Once we're out, we're out, though. Germans are uh, cautiously making their way towards our positions from the north. And a lot more approaching from the south. Germans having a lot of MG uh, 34s there, too. Again, it's 1941. So if we see any sort of vehicle, it'll more than likely be a light tank. Nothing heavy or impossible, but definitely better than anything we have. We don't even have a tank, and we don't have reinforcements. Essentially, we're cut off at the moment. A lot of good uh, defensive positions up here as well. A lot of foxholes dug out. A lot of trenches. Get up there, boys. I wonder if the radio operator has an option to call in... Nope. 
thought the radio operator may be able to call an artillery or something, but it just seems like he's able to keep in touch with command, but no reinforcements are coming for us anytime soon. Well, we're very lucky. We've not lost any troops yet. The Germans have uh, been cut down on the roads. That Bren gun is really doing a nice job of pinning them down. Bren gun here firing on the uh, Germans as they approach. Move over this position. There we go. Very good. All right, the Germans seem to have stopped here at the riverbed. They seem to be aware of our uh, positions now. And that there's quite a few of them, not just some uh, rambun rambunctious uh, reinforcements of some sort. More German troops are arriving now. Yeah, all right, Germans have landed on the airstrip to the north and will be uh, bringing in reinforcements then in about five minutes. So we've got to hold off against these sporadic attacks and then against the large group coming for us very soon. All right, Anzac doing a great job of staying in their positions. They're really nicely dug in. The Germans are going to have a hell of a time breaking through here, I, I'd say. All right, over this way, there we go. Try to fire on the Germans if they come over this direction. Lewis guns are with us. And those are great weapons from World War I. That'll be effective. Starting to run out of ammo now. We're going to have to cautiously move out of our trench. And over this way. We'll go ahead and switch out quickly. Keep the Germans pinned down on this uh, southwest side. While we reinforce our uh, forces over here. Would be nice to ambush the Germans from here. We might be able to get some of our troops up over that side. Gonna see if we can get somebody with a machine gun over there. There we go, these two. Bren gun and an SMG might be able to sneak up on the Germans. Clear off all those troops coming up the roadway. See if we can find another SMG or a machine gunner. Fantastic. Well, our troops are firing so much that they're actually running out of ammo. That's a great sign. Means they're uh, <laughs> they're not dying, and they're getting a lot of the enemy. Well, let's try to get up here. Germans are going to try to casually walk in now. It seems. All right, let's open up on them. Nice job there. Half of them into the dirt. There we go. Well, we have to definitely stay low here. Hiding behind a bush, the Germans having trouble seeing us with concealment. We do have a medic nearby just in case. Hell of a lot of German fire there. All right, we'll back off for now. All right, there we go. All right, Germans are now on the roadway trying to capture that position there. More troops out of ammo. Jeez. Stay down here. Have these two move over this way. There we go. Certainly going to have to be a lot of back and forth here and uh, running for supply. Right, this should be enough ammo for a little bit of a firefight. Looks like a model there missing the helmet. Probably from a previous version of Rob's. I'm really excited to see how this defense is going to turn out. We've done a really good job in holding them back so far. And uh, the company from the north will arrive in about a minute. Still holding back a lot of the Germans here. Definitely afraid of this... P oh yeah, there's a lot of Germans there. That position coming from the south is very important. They seem to be holding for whatever reason. I don't know why they wouldn't be attacking. Most positions look like they have ammo. Uh, we'll fall back for more ammunition. Alright, let's see if we can get all these uh, positions taken. Alright, there we go. There 
There we go. Nice amb uh, Anzac ambush from the roadway. Okay, we got a man down. Second man is down. This is too good of an opportunity to pass up. We do have a medic nearby too. Here's our medic. I right, heal that man up. Okay, fall back. Hell of a lot of Germans there. Hell of a lot of them. But it's easier dealing with them on the roadway than when they get closer to our defensive position. Hopefully we can heal that man up. All right, let's return back and get some more ammo. All right, about five seconds now until the German main assault from the north. We're going to then have to defend from the southeast, south, and now the north. Looks like they're not firing at the medic. That's nice. All right, hold all three flags for seven minutes. Just need to hold. Damn, is the machine gonna get popped again? All right. Well, the n main goal now is to just hold in our defensive positions. We tried to thin out their numbers as much as we could, but now it's time to get back in those defensive positions. There we go. All right, best case scenario now is just to keep our boys inside the foxholes. If we can. And to keep everybody supplied. All right, the Germans are attacking from the north. Large number of uh, Falsum Jaegers now getting ready to regroup. Six minutes, we'll have to hold some of these elevated positions. Bren guns are definitely running out of ammo first. Oh, we've got a good number of troops. We just need to keep the ammo coming. Plenty of places to hide, though. It's nice. We've actually uh, dug out more positions than we needed, which means we can change fire if we need to. I wonder if squad leads have uh, airborne drops. I didn't want the whole damn army coming back for supply. Damn it again! All right, I don't, I don't know if there's a problem or if they keep shooting him. It seems like for a third time, the uh, medic has been hit. So I don't know if he's just uh, not healable or if the Germans keep shooting him the moment he gets healed. I'm not sure. He's still alive, so perhaps he'll be uh, okay at the end of the time here. All right, Germans are closing in on our positions now. The final be uh, battle begins. Got a hell of a lot of Germans coming up this way. We're gonna switch our fire this direction. Gonna need a medic up here. We're gonna try to get everybody aiming this direction. Most of our trouble is gonna be coming from over here. There we go. All right, medic's on the line now. There's the Lewis gun. Perfect. All right, four minutes remaining. The Germans are definitely putting the pressure on now. It's almost like a Vietnam-like scenario where we're holding the elevation. The enemy outnumbers us and they're attacking from everywhere. And it seems like artillery has been spotted, mortar somewhere. Certainly the enemy has a mortar somewhere. And Zach breaking from cover. Let's go ahead and get back into it into the fight here. Fall back at ammo. Let's go. A lot of our forces running out of ammo. Oh, hell. This is not good. We've got an entire army out of ammo. These guys have been in the fight for a bit. There we go. Fight them back. We got several men down. The Anzac are fighting as hard as they can. Get them, boys. Hold them back. This position in a lot of trouble. Reinforcements from the road and from the northern sections hitting them simultaneously. We had to retreat for ammo. Can't fight without that. Right, 
We'll have these three retreat. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's it. Okay, nobody, anybody uh, needs ammo. We're going to have to go to another position, but that's not happening either. They're out of ammo, too. All right, all Anzac forces are running out of ammo. Only position that has it is here. Let's see if we can get these guys changed out. Luckily, we're only being attacked from the uh, position there. Perhaps we can get these guys to support them. A lot of Germans over there. We'll see if we can crawl up behind the Germans and throw some grenades. Give ourselves a little bit of relief, relief over here. All right, wow. I will handpick whoever's out of ammo. Military doing a fantastic job here. Anzac Force is just holding like champions against overwhelming uh, enemy numbers and also uh, training, too. The Germans were a lot, a lot better trained than us at this point. Absolutely fantastic. Look at those troops getting mowed down. Hell yeah. Anzac saving the day down here. We do have a machine gun out there somewhere. There we are. Wow, Anzac even better trained than the Germans, it seems. Good job. All right, we're out of ammo. There's not much we can do for any of these guys without ammo. They'll just have to hold the position in order to throw grenades if the enemy gets, gets close. Minute 53 remaining. There is ammo over here. But it's going to have to remain for these troops. The Germans seem to have backed off with their attacks. They may be out of ammo, too. We've seemingly lost maybe less than five men in the defense. Seems like that man is still, uh, still alive. Right, let's see if we can go out there and save him again. Seems like the Germans are taking cover behind that ridge there. Let's see if we can sneak up behind them and throw some grenades. We'll have a group go out. Get another machine gunner on the line, hold the Germans back. Seems to be some Germans over here. There we go. Must be another problem with the version of Rob's. That should be correct, though, those uh, red exclamation points. Looks like a triggered guard from Metal Gear. All right, well, it looks like the main force has uh, either stopped or fallen back. Germans sure as hell brought in a lot of troops, but didn't have enough to actually capture these positions. I'm going to run up here quickly and just grab this uh, cover here. A lot of Germans out there, but maybe now we can finally get them. There we go. Nice MG. Probably going to have another man down in a second, but we got to kick the Germans out over here. I think this guy's just glitched out. I've been telling that medic to heal him multiple times, but a no can do. Anzac Force is still holding the Germans back at the southern roadway. Germans have uh, seemingly given up their attack. There are still enemy troops around. Friendly thrown grenades. Defend the positions. Completed. Huge wave of Germans coming in. Not good. Who is that? Oh, this guy's uh, fleeing. Holy crap, what's going on? Crowd's in the open. What is all this? They must be b being ordered to retreat, and uh, boy, are they taking an immense amount of losses. Wow. Wonderful. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's just watch them retreat through our lines. Germans are not being ordered to attack at all now. They're just being ordered to retreat to the northern section. And they've lost pretty much all their force. Look at this. A majority of Anzac troops just out of ammo. There's just not much left of them aside from grenades. They're still trying to grab these positions. Let's, let's see what happens if we finish them off. Jeez, the grenades... Get down, boys. Anzac positions almost overrun over here. The Germans had more than enough in firepower and troops to uh, dislodge us. However, of course, uh, sometimes it's not wise just to advance into enemy positions just because you have more numbers. Of course, this programming here is wrong, but it's kind of cool to see. The, the programming would be that they would just retreat, but they're just going with uh, 
retreating to the village or whatnot. All right, we're going to call this one good. This was a really fantastic mission. There's uh, even more missions for Africa as well. I believe so far we're allowed to go to Crete and Italy, and then there's another mod on top of this one that allows you to go to Africa as well. So a Circle 7 salute down below in that comment section for the mod makers, for all the troops of uh, World War II on both sides just doing the, the job they were given. So looks like there were mortars out here, actually, weren't there? Yes. Oh, machine gun position. And I, there must have been mortars, right? Yep, right there. Okay, I knew there were mortars. At first I thought it was just grenades, but too good to be true. All right, that's it for me, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Again, on your way out, click or tap that like button and uh, check out the mod down below in the description. A nice work uh, to old boy so far. I've been enjoying this one, so thanks for the hard work. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.